Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And what do you do when it's 20 degrees out and the ice is melting? Well, you wedge the Jeep into the garage and you change the manual transmission fluid. And we're a little overdue. I think the manual says around 40 and around 90. So this is for uh, an 18 JL. So if you have, it should be 18 and up. You always want to consult your manual. Make sure you're not doing this on a JK because it uses a completely different manual transmission fluid. All right, ATF4 is what the manual calls out for. So let's get the skids off and I'll show you how to change it. Alright, so once you get your skids off, so here's your drain. Now we'll pull the drain once we get the fill plug loose. Right? So the fill plug's on the side, the drain's on the bottom. Those plugs are 24 millimeter. And these are hand tools. Right? Don't go at it with pneumatic tools. You always want to make sure you can fill for your drain. So once that breaks free, now I've got aftermarket skid, but it's in the same location. So if you got factory, just take off this lower. I may have to divert that a little bit. Does a good funnel does a good job diverting it. Now I, of course I dropped the the bolt right in it, which is fine. Yeah, and that way I can recover the bolt. Now make sure you keep the washer. Now the end of this is a magnet, so inspect it for debris and. Hopefully you don't have no big chunks. There's a few small little flakes on there, but it's not too bad for 80,000 miles. Once that's all drained, let's wipe off the drain. Make sure that any little flakes in there, let's get all that out. That magnet's supposed to keep anything that's broke free there. Inspect your washer. You got to have that. Wipe the casting clean. All right, so if you don't have a 24, it's only about six thousandths difference. You can use a 15 16 And Wrangler Forums calls out a 22 foot pounds torque. So we're going to go ahead and torque it, and then we're going to get it filled. So I'm going to use an extension. You generally don't want to use extensions on a torque wrench. It isn't much. All right, so let's pull the fill. It's going to be kind of hard to do this without getting my hands in there. In the, in the shot. So there's the fill. Obviously, no uh, magnet. This is where it gets messy. So we're just going to fill it till it starts running out of there. All right, so this is the part where if you don't wear gloves normally, I would advise you get some. So we're going to get this unpackaged. And basically it'll suck the uh, fluid up in one hose and pump it out on the other. And this is where you definitely want a drain pan. you can see there that the hose is inside the transmission and then we are going to siphon pump that in there and she goes right. and we're just going to go until it runs out 
This is a messy process, but it's quick. It's probably not something you want done when people can't hear your cuss. Once again, if you can do this when it's warm so these hoses are flexible, it's probably a plus. And then cycle the pump. Now it'll drain a can pretty fast. Okay, there's one. It's kind of a cluster F when it's cold. Okay, I'm not, now nothing I can find tells you exactly how many quarts this should take. So, we'll see how much in quart number three this actually takes. So it looks like it's right at three. Three, she's running out. Once again, this is a messy operation. Yeah. So I'm gonna, can't get this on camera, but I'm gonna get this plug in there real quick. Now, drain pan is your friend. Snug up the fill. Now remember, it's only 22 foot pounds, so not very tight. Okay, so let's see with the, without the drain pan in there, if we can get the torque wrench in there now. And it would be a no. So we're just gonna snug that, have to snug that up by hand. So if you have any oil on your exhaust pipes, try to get most of that wiped up because that will ignite. It's gonna smoke a little bit. All right, so if way you're doing this, now I had just changed this. So while you're in here, it's the same exact fluid. Your transfer case, you got your fill and your drain. All right, so it's the same ATF plus four fluid that you use in your transfer case. You can knock that out as well while your skid plates are off. Take a look at your maintenance schedules. It'll give you all your fluids. Now I store this mess in the two Ziploc bags. All right, so put your skid plates back on, drain your fluids in, into a container. Now usually, uh, O'Reilly's or an AutoZone will take your fluids, oil and all that stuff. But while you're in there, go ahead and change your fluids in your transfer case. It's the same ATF plus four. Now the, the manual transmission took three quarts. And I don't remember exactly, but I thought it was two or two and a half quarts for the transfer case. So just buy six quarts and knock them both out. So just spend another addition to Jeeping Mo. Do your maintenance. Anybody can do it. You can do this stuff in the garage real easy. Doesn't require many tools. 24 millimeter is what I use. 15, 16 will work just as well. So do your maintenance and I'll, leave, I'll see you when these videos that pop up here. It's Jeeping Mo.